Good morning, Carlson. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, it's Monday. Even though you know what's funny? We're not actually here today. That's right. I'm at Cedar Point. Yeah. All right. Uh, we, we get it. We get anyway, it. always remember that Connor knocked out Jose Aldo Prime in 12 seconds. 13, sorry. Okay. Um, Bryce is a hater. No, Connor McGregor is who he's talking about. Should be in prison right now, probably. Um, but anyways, let's get right to the news. Cody's joke of the day. What did Jay-Z call his wife before they got married? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> fiance. <laughs> All right, Cody. Come <laughs> on, bro. Where are you getting these from? That was good, Cody. Uh, wh wherever you found that, make sure you let them know it was good because you didn't know that. <laughs> AP test fees uh, were due on Friday, so uh, apparently we don't need the story anymore, so hopefully you turn those in. And any interest, any student interested in Henry Ford Direct College classes in the fall, see Miss Trush. We're offering English 131, Sociology 131 at Carlson. And CHS is hosting a school shoe drive today through May 17th. Drop off any shoes, new or old, in the designated boxes in the cafeteria near the library or near the main office doors. Any questions, contact um, Gillian or Jesse Belinsky. Now, we're going to turn it over to a very special guest for the weather. She's an alum. Our freshman year, you might remember, she used to anchor the news. Let's turn over to That's Sophia. Right. Hey, what's up Carlson? I hope you're having a happy Monday. Today's weather is going to be a high of 68 and a low of 53 with about a 15% chance of rain. So I have a good joke for you guys. What did the cat say when he stubbed his toe? Me, ow! Ooh, big green's better! <laughs> Uh, oh man. Take some notes, B grade. You know what? That would have been the best joke of the day if Cody didn't finally pull out a banger. Oh, that um, was Cody's joke of the year. Though. That was Cody's joke of his life. And how did how was how have I never heard that before? Like yeah, that's so yeah, good. I don't know. Yeah, wherever whatever Reddit um Stay page on you found that, that yeah. on, yeah. <laughs> Give uh, him some credit Get the rest of your that. jokes off of that place. Um, but thank you, Sophia. Nice job with the weather. And I'm gonna tell that joke to my cats. Maybe they'll get a kick out of it. Okay, uh, get it? Stub toe. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you need to start writing jokes. <laughs> and now, please note the library will be closed all this week for AP testing. A book return bin will be located outside the library doors. If you need to see Mr. Pody, the blue door across from Ms. Pelose's room will be unlocked and you can pop into his office. And the class of 2025 is running a boys' intramural volleyball tournament Take on look. Wednesday um, the 8th. The winning oh, team shoot. will get to play the staff volleyball team at the end of the tournament. Uh, there are spots for up to 12 teams of 10 players. If you're interested in participating, please see Miss Trush in the counseling office for a team form. Tickets will be sold at the door if you're interested in attending. Prizes will be raffled off during the tournament for all fans in attendance. I think it's $100 to join and you win about six cents. If yeah, you something like that. Win the tournament. It's all in a parlay. Um, you might make some money though. Yeah, I don't know. I think your guys' odds of winning are like negative. A million. Eight thousand. Yeah. That's even more. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, we didn't lose a match last year, so actually, this sports segment should just be about shaky nets. Yeah. I think if you bet on you guys winning, you might just lose money. Yeah. Because that's the what odds it is. Yeah. So high. Is there any other teams even uh, in this competition? I don't know. I think they might all bail because they knew we were in it. Anyway, make sure you pop out to that because there is a raffle. That's how we're getting people there, and that's also how we're scamming more people out of money. Um, whoever's doing this, Miss Torres, a little greedy. But um, okay, it's cool. it's cool though, I guess. But anyway, we have some sports. Not really. Uh, they're over here on my phone. No, I'm gonna go cheat and look real quick. Oh fast. my! But a um, little tragedy. Francis Ngannou's son oh, died yeah, today. That, that is so terrible. And you hate that to see was that. Not today. That was a while ago. You know what? It says 30 minutes ago, but I don't care if it was a while ago. I heard about that like a week ago. But anyways, yeah, no, tragic. Other than that, though, nothing much. Oh, besides, Ryan Garcia got caught um, steroids in his system. Allegedly. Yeah, we don't know yet for sure, but um, that yeah, might be Yeah, and the true. person calling him out is literally guilty of steroid usage. During Throwback the during to Conor McGregor. He's also just... He's a, made clean during the fights. He's also he's just a complete nutcase and likes to be the old man. Who's also Taylor. fighting July 29th. I think, maybe June, uh, so I'll be at that watch party at Bryce's house, or maybe Pimo's, who knows. Yep, and we'll see if he can uh, stay out of any bar fights with women and old men before That's his right. fight. He might have to, they might have to run this fight from a holding cell. They might have to uh, get a new belt, 
It's gonna be the comeback belt and the new double champ belt. We'll see though. All right, Carlson. Thanks for joining us. Smash. Yep, that's right. We got a senior smash video after this. I'm gonna get to hear from some seniors, some more. And uh, anyways, hope everyone has a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no. I'm gonna miss all the concerts for band and like being in the marching band, the Friday night football games. Um, and like the drama performances. Coming in late. That's, that's my favorite thing to do. What I'm gonna miss once I graduate is probably my friends, teachers, and probably all the bonds I've made and relationships I've made throughout the years and my, during my high school year, so. Um, all the free food. Uh, I would say just like seeing the friends every day. Uh, that would be the most important, like just seeing those people every day that you're so used to seeing every day and then kind of just falls off. Uh, I think what I'm going to miss most is just like all the people, especially like the underclassmen that I got to like teach how to swim, golf, all that. But uh, most importantly, just like the people that you see every day, like your acquaintances, but not your friends. I probably won't see them again after high school.